take your grandma out to bingo, say, grandma, just got this new car. It's like this crazy, like, have you heard of Rolls Royce? Yeah, yeah, so it's not a Rolls Royce. It does have a similar sort of engine and like setup to that, but it's not that, it's, it's a BMW. Oh, that's lovely, oh, that's wonderful. And then, you know, so she's sitting in the back. You all right, grandma? Yeah, how's that hot drink? Is that nice? And do that. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to the 7 Series for the penultimate time. This will be my last drive in this car, which is very, very sad, but also quite exciting. And then the last video you'll see with this car, which is to come, is when I deliver it to the winner. As you know, this car is up on Hero Competitions, where one of you very lucky people is going to win it. And I'm gonna then come and hand deliver the car to you in person, which is very, very exciting. There's uh, less than half the tickets remaining actually and just over a week to go. So if you haven't got one already, make sure you go up to Hero Competition's website, have a look, get yourself a ticket for a tenner. You can have this, all of this five meter of car for a tenner. It's a lot of metal for the money. And yeah, if the car's not for you, well, there's plenty of other stuff on there. In fact, they've just put a VW camper worth about 60 grand up online tonight. And there's a number of other things, even a free 500 pound giveaway. That's enough of that. Do get yourself a ticket if you want this car. But the reason I'm sat in the back of it to start this video is because if you remember a year ago when I made my very first video with this car, I started it in the back. And one of the lines I said, well, apart from there's enough leather in here to give a vegan a panic attack, which is true, just the leather and stuff in here. I think there's probably enough leather in this car to give a vegan a panic attack. Is that this could be the biggest financial mistake of my life. However, it's turned out not to be the case because of course this has been a very successful car for the channel and yes i've spent quite a few thousands on it keeping it on the road and keeping it in tip-top condition but every penny worth spending if you ask me because when you drive this car there's nothing at least that i've owned or even driven that comes close in terms of the levels of comfort and refinement and just the way it makes you feel considering i only paid five thousand pounds for this car it's been remarkable. We've driven it to the Nürburgring and done over 160 miles per hour on the Autobahn. We also did laps on the Nürburgring in this 5,000 pound luxury limo. Of course, I straight piped it as well. And this being a six liter V12, as you can hear. It sounds ridiculous. Is there anything that you can buy for 5,000 pounds that can sound like this. Are there any other V12s out there for that sort of money? I don't think there are even now, especially so because these things are a dying breed. And actually BMW just announced in the week I'm filming this that the 760 Li they're now currently making will be the last of the BMW V12s. Even more reason to get yourself one of these whilst you can. But let's not mislead you too much because the video title suggests that this is the last drive of the car. And although I'm having a lovely time sat in the back here, well, I suppose we should get in the driver's seat and enjoy it on these quiet, very, very quiet Buckinghamshire roads. Mm. Anyway, just before I do jump in the front, please make sure that if you're one of my 70% of viewers that are not subscribed to the channel, that you subscribe now. I mean, quite literally, if all of you 70% did it, would be like over 100,000 subscribers straight away. And that's my target for the year. So please do subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, let's get driving the V12 barge. Okay, key in, start stop button, outside temperature plus 1.5 degrees Celsius. And if I just turn the air conditioning down somewhat, then crack a window and I will miss that. I will absolutely miss that. Right, so pop the car in to drive then. 
and I'm going to go into the iDrive and pop the suspension into sport mode, something I very, very rarely ever done because, well, it's just not the car for it, but as we're going to have a little bit of a spirited final drive today, let's pop that in sports. That's done. Pop that screen off. I'm going to click the button here and get sports gearing. There's a little jolt as the gear changes into first. Normally, I think in drive, it will launch, say launch, get off in second or third. And if you just feel, just, um, just try and, I'll try and put you in this seat right now and just feel the smoothness here as I put about, let's do about a third throttle. It's gorgeous. The engine and the gearbox pairing on this car are gorgeous. And if we pop it into drive and it goes into sixth, as you can hear that V12 straight pipe is almost not noticeable and cars going past are not noticeable when it comes to the sound because this thing is like the Millennium Falcon. I don't know why, it just is. And if we want to get up and go with this car, well, let's pop it back into sport shift. It will go down into first gear when we come to a stop. And I'll basically just plant it and you'll see the way that this car just picks up. It's also remarkable. I do love that word, but that's one word that perfectly describes this car. Okay, you ready? Let's just launch it away a little bit and kicking in there as we changed into third gear wow that's what's so incredible about this car is that it can put a smile on your face in so many strange ways because of what it is you would never expect a car that looks like this to make you smile when you drive it fast but it, it just does Four hundred and forty horsepower under my right foot, which is linked electronically, at least, to a naturally aspirated V12. A rare pairing that we won't, as I mentioned at the start of the video, we won't see again, unless I do sometimes wonder if I don't know we find some oil or something crazy happens with electric and people realize that actually, uh, I don't know, it's unlikely and there's a pheasant there. So let's just get the pheasant out of the way by going, see you later pheasant. Those old people in their garden weren't too pleased with that, sorry. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, we're not gonna see these V12s anymore. And if we just go down into first gear, I'm gonna, uh, crack a window here and just <laughs> oh I love this car so much Fires there on the overrun as we go downhill, holding it in second gear. Just hear it popping away. And then watch this. So we're in second gear here. We'll go up to 40 miles per hour and we'll accelerate to 60. We'll try again. I'll ease the throttle there because the tyres are muddy and the roads are cold and slippy. So let's ease it a little bit, but 40 miles per hour. There it goes, 60 just like that. There's nothing like this at all, absolutely nothing. Right, now I'm just gonna pop it back into 
comfort because actually driving it around in sport, and this is the suspension I'm talking about, you really can. Yeah, there you go, back in comfort, and it's way less jarring actually. That's quite impressive the difference it makes. But as I've said before, but I will recap, and just clarify for those of you that are obviously disappointed that this car is going, I would keep this thing if I could afford to. It's really as simple as that. Unfortunately, I don't have um, unlimited money. Obviously, I'm working towards it. I'm growing the YouTube channel and hopefully I'll be able to have more cars and afford to keep them for longer. But the truth of the matter is I can't do that right now. So that's the way it is. The car has to go, but I'm genuinely not sad about it because it will be going to a viewer of mine uh, or at least someone that buys a ticket on the Hero Competitions website for the car. And I think that's just gonna be the most um, amazing thing I've ever done with this car is when I get to sort of drive it and, and deliver it to, to one of you guys, wherever you are in the UK. I guess I'm sort of hoping that you're not in John O'Groats because then it's gonna cost me about 300 quid in fuel to come and deliver it to you. But no, if you are in John O'Groats, please do buy a ticket still because I'm more than happily have that as an excuse to do some last miles in the car. But I think when I look back on this car and say a year's time, you know, I will look back on the delivery to the winner as probably my fondest moment because for me, having these cars is A, about driving them, but also about sharing them with other people, which is of course why I have a YouTube channel. I think I love finding these cars that are sort of unsung heroes really, uh, or things that might be, you know, left on the sidelines, not really thought about, not really known about, and exposing them to you guys and, and building new sort of fond loves for these types of vehicles that aren't otherwise featured or documented like I think they should be. So of course, sharing them with you guys is my number one thing. And so to reiterate, when I get to hand it to one of you physically in person, it's just gonna be the best thing ever. Um, and I hope I get to do it many more times with many other cars as well. But yes, it is sad to obviously see this car go and I would just keep it if I had the means to do so, but I don't. And so with that, we're gonna come through the village, this lovely village of Mentmore, which many of you spotted in my last video with the Porsche I filmed here in Mentmore and uh, it's a new spot for me and it's lovely. So we'll come through nice and uh, gracefully and respectfully through Mentmore. And then once we're out of the village, we'll chuck it into sport again and give it one good last thrashing. Okay, back into sport. I had a thought in the back of my head there to take traction control off, but I think that's probably a bit naughty, isn't it? Considering I just spent 220 quid on a single tire as well. That was annoying. Let's round this corner and just give it a little squirt here. It's so smooth. Now, of course, when this car goes, it will mean that I don't actually own a BMW, which is a shock. That'll be a first for me. Um, I've always, well, since the Z4, I've always owned a BMW. Uh, I've had the Z4, I've had the M240i, and I've had this. Can't think I've had any more, actually. Um, but also, there's always been a BMW on the channel, or at least the BMW side of things has probably been the main feature on the channel. So yes, there's gonna be a gap for a little while, but as I've hinted at in uh, some comments, and I don't wanna to give too much away, but any of you that know me will be able to guess very, very easily what the next car is going to be. Um, there will not, not be a BMW for the longest amount of time, at least until I find the right car, because there is one particular car which also has a particularly impressive and rare and underappreciated engine that I'm looking to purchase. And it'll also, let's just say, sound incredible, dare I say it, better than this. So I think you all know what that's going to be. And for those of you that don't, even better, because when you see it and when you hear it, you're going to forget about this car entirely. And if you have unsubscribed, because I've been waffling on about this car competition, or this car in general, 
you'll want to subscribe again. I guarantee you that because it will be something super special and something even more so that I'm excited to share with you guys because for me it's been a dream car since I can remember watching a Top Gear episode with it. So, one last squirt then. Let's get it down to 20 miles an hour. Let's pop it into manual, get it into second. And three, two, one. 60. It's quick, this car, it's very quick. Get the straight pipe taken off, put the original system back on, which I've got and you'll get if you win this car. Take your grandma out to bingo, say, Grandma just got this new car. It's like this crazy, like have you heard of Rolls Royce? Yeah, yeah, so it's not a Rolls Royce. It does have a similar sort of engine and like setup to that, but it's not that, it's, it's a BMW. Oh, oh, how flashy, you in a BMW? Yeah, yeah. But the best thing about it is, it, you know, it reclines in the back, it's got heated and cooled seats. Let me drive you to bingo in it. Go, oh, that's lovely, oh, that's wonderful. And then, you know, Imagine there's not the noise from the straight pipes so she's sitting in the back. You all right, Grandma? Yeah? How's that hot drink? Is that nice? And do that. So, thanks guys for watching this video. This has been, wipe the tear from my face, the final drive in my BMW 760 Li, certainly the most significant car that I've ever owned and something I will certainly never forget. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys if you're watching even now because I know that not everyone um, likes it when uh, you're promoting competitions or things like that, but put it this way, ultimately one of you is going to win this car for 10 quid. That's, that's the bottom line. So yeah, I'm sorry that some of you don't like the idea of a competition, but ultimately for me, for my audience, that is an incredible proposition that I'm so lucky to be able to offer. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching this, I appreciate that really uh, lately on the channel, I've been sort of shifting cars around a bit and sorting some things out for the year. So content might not have been as exciting as usual. I don't know, let me know but I've always got it in the back of my mind that I'm trying to make the very best stuff on the internet. And let me assure you that there is some unbelievable stuff planned for the year uh, that's gonna exceed anything I've done before. And I cannot wait to do it. And I cannot stop pinching myself that I'm in the unbelievably privileged position to be able to do this. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. And of course, please, please, go ahead and buy a ticket on Hero Competitions to win this car. To clarify, I'm only getting a fixed sale price for this car, so actually the incentive of you guys buying tickets, I'm not making any extra money from that. So I just want one of you to win this car, um, which you will, and I want everyone to have the opportunity. So 10 quid, just enter. There's only a few hundred tickets left, and there's only just over a week until we announce the winner. So, you'll be getting a phone call from me very soon and then also a knock on the door and I'll be starting a small earthquake in your village when I pull into your driveway. Anyway, with that, thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you all with an announcement for a new series on the channel, which I'm also extremely excited about very, very soon. Bye.